In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to another piece of software from the Adobe Creative Cloud. And in this instance, um, there are two versions of it. So it's a piece of software called Lightroom. You may have heard of it before. Um, it is a great piece of software for any photographer. Um, and recently they've done some amazing updates. Um, to this piece of software as well. Um, but I do want to highlight there are two versions. So here you can see that there's Lightroom and then we've got Lightroom Classic. Now it is, it is very important that you download the right version. So Lightroom has the same features as Lightroom Classic. However, it automatically syncs it to your Adobe Creative Cloud um, storage. Now each of you get eight gig of storage. Um, so this will be saved in your creative cloud. Now, for some of you, you may wish to do this rather than use local storage. So on the Lightroom Classic, it uses the storage that is on your device. So on your laptop or on your desktop, it doesn't automatically save it to the cloud. It just saves it to the device. So if it is that you're in college, you will notice that we have Lightroom Classic on our systems in college because we use a local network. Um, however, those of you that are using your own laptop or desktop and would like to use the storage that is available through Creative Cloud, you know, feel free to download the Lightroom. However, today I'm going to be using Lightroom Classic. So once you've opened your software, you'll notice some dialog boxes come up and these are just basic tutorials that you can have a watch over. They are really useful. So even from sort of how to organize your folders in Lightroom to how you can sync the photographs to other devices. You can also look at creating collections. Um, it's a really great way of organizing all your photographs and all your shoots. So it's definitely work having, worth having a look at that. Also um, the navigation bar, we're gonna go through this more in detail um, towards the end of this tutorial. So let's start by importing some photographs. So I've got a shoot, so I'm gonna import that. And as you can see, it links to your device locally. So here you can see I've got my folders, my desktop, my documents, etc. cetera. So um, the photographs I've taken are on my desktop. So there you can see all the images that I have on my desktop have been loaded. Um, so I'm just going to see if I can find those photographs I've taken, that Manchester shoot. Ah, oh, here they are. So just click and highlight those images that we are wanting to import. So you can easily do that by clicking and then scrolling down to the bottom and then using your shift key to highlight all those photographs. Once you've done that, click and then just click really easily click import on the right of the screen. I'm just going to show you some more of the features that are embedded in Lightroom. So here are all the photographs that I've imported into Lightroom. At the top here you can see there are different features. So if you click on develop, you are able to edit your photographs like you would do in Photoshop. Um, the features are the same. So again, you'll get this dialog box up that just shows you all the different tools that are available. So, you know, the film strip, how to navigate all your images and select them. Also shows you how to um, do cropping um, and sort of just basic adjustments like removing red eye, spot healers, etc. Also, um, a great feature in Lightroom is that you can actually go back um, and use a history tool so it never sort of overwrites the images when you've edited them. We're just going to go to the print features now embedded in Lightroom. And again, when you click on this, you'll see um, dialog boxes will come up with some basic tutorials. So here you can see there are already presets that are available in Lightroom that you can use that are linked to any printers that you have linked to your device. Here it shows how you can select your images in terms of settings. I'm going to show you how to do that in more detail in a second. And then how we prep for print as well. So first things first, what we're going to do is we are going to select all your images. Here are the pre-selections that you can have um, depending on the device that you're using. But what we're going to do today is we're going to use 
um, the Lightroom template. So here are all the templates that you can use. Um, the ones that we're going to use are the contact sheets. So you can see here there's some contact sheet templates here. And there's also um, some landscape contact sheets here as well. So these are going to be the ones that we're going to be using today. So by clicking on that, you can see, oh, at the minute, there's only one image that's been selected. So I'm going to select all my images on the film strip. And again, you do this by just simply using your shift key and clicking. And there you can see all the images that I've taken are now in um, a contact sheet. If we go to the right of the screen here, you can see there are other features that you can use. So for instance, you can adjust how many images you have on a row and into column. So I'm just going to reduce the rows. You can also adjust the margins. So um, this is a great feature for when you're printing um, in your sketchbooks and um, to make sure that you avoid any clipping. You can also um, add some cell spacing as well some more space in between the images. Um, you can hide the grids. So if you want the grids and you want them printing, that's fine. If not, just um, untick that. And then if we scroll down, you can also um, highlight what information you would like on the images. So I tend to like using the exposure. So this registers what the aperture and the exposure was on the camera when you took the photographs and here you can look at pixel resolution so you can change that to 300 240 will be fine for this though and when you're ready you're just going to click on printer now um, the print goes straight to the print device in this case i just want you to click printer and then click pdf and we're going to save this as a pdf because um, this is going to probably go on your website so i'm going to call this manchester shoot I'm going to save this to my desktop and then click save. 